Hey kids, okay, we are getting ready to wrap up the first half of module two, and there'll be a mid-module test uh, after lesson 15. So I wanna work these problems through with you. Word problems are always kinda of tricky, but uh, let's just break them down and we'll get through this. So Liza's cat had six kittens. When Liza and her brother weighed all the kittens together, they weighed four pounds, two ounces. Since all the kittens are about the same size, ooh, how convenient, about how many ounces does each kitten weigh? So first of all, um, I'm gonna be using tape diagrams to kind of help you put a picture together. So it's all about that read, draw, write strategy. So I'm gonna make a tape diagram that's big enough for six kittens. If you have an even number, you can split it in the middle and I have three kittens here, three kittens here. Those kittens look a lot like boxes, but that is the truth, because this is not art class. Okay, so the total amount for the kittens is four pounds, two ounces. And we talked about the weird abbreviations, but that's what it is. So first of all, I need to make sure that I put everything in ounces first, so that when I get my answer, it's gonna make sense. So I need to figure out how many ounces are in four pounds. And so you can, um, if you have a conversion sheet, you can do that. And it's 16 ounces per pound. So uh, just take your 16 times four and multiply six times four and get 24. Four times one is four plus two is six. And so this is gonna be the 64 ounces from the four pounds, but I also have to add the two ounces that are extra. So this whole thing, all the kittens together is 66 ounces. Now that I know how many ounces are there in total, and let me just write this. There you go, just in case you have to refer back to it from another question. Uh, 66 ounces divided by the six kittens is what I need to do, okay? So each one of these has a particular weight. And so the standard algorithm for this, you probably know six times 11 is 66, but we'll just do that anyway. Six divided by six is one. And then we get this and we work it all the way through. And so 11 ounces uh, is the approximate weight for each kitten just approximating and that is all you need for this one okay so number two a container of oregano is 17 pounds heavier than a container of peppercorns their total weight is 253 pounds the peppercorns will be sold in one ounce bags how many bags of peppercorns can be made so honestly, when I was a kid, this would be one problem that I would just run away from and be like, well, I'm gonna get that one wrong because I don't know how to do it. But if you use a tape diagram, you're just gonna have all the answers here. So I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we have a container of oregano that's 17 pounds heavier than a container of peppercorns, but the total weight is 253. So I've got uh, peppercorns that I don't know and I've got oregano that I do know one little thing I know that it's 17 pounds heavier okay so whatever this is I don't know it but I do know that that is the same amount as this and I also know that the two uh, spices together are 253 pounds Okay, so you might look at this total and say all three of these pieces are 253. The only thing I really know is that this 17 is extra. So what if I just take away the extra so that I know what is evenly divided by two? So that's a little uh, secret of how the tape diagram can help you figure out another number, which is the dividing by two. So let's get the total that is gonna be split between these two. 
So subtraction, can't take seven from three, but that's okay, just go next door, take one and give 10. 13 minus seven is six, four minus one is three, and I'll bring the down the two. And so this is the 236 pounds to split. Now I have an even number, 236, not that it would matter because we could just do a 0 0.5, but I have 236 to divide by two. Now once I divide this 236 that's left by two, I'm gonna have the amount for each one. So two divided by two is one, multiply, subtract, bring down, so a quick compare, that's all good. Bring down, divide three by two, I get one. One times two is two, subtract and get one. Quick compare, That's this is less so we can go on. Bring down the six. 16 divided by two is eight. Eight times two is 16. Finish this out, don't leave it hanging. And then we finish with the smiley face zero. So each one of these is 118 pounds. And I would never have figured it out when I was a kid without a tape diagram, okay? Now I still don't have the total of the oregano, but I can figure that out. If anything uh, needed to be asked about how much is the oregano? So uh, the container of oregano is 17 pounds heavier. Notice that I go back and I reread these multiple times when I'm doing word problems. 17 pounds heavier, got it. Total weight is 253, got it. Peppercorns will be sold in one ounce bags. Okay, now I need to figure out about the peppercorns. So I have 118 pounds of peppercorns. The amount of oregano is now irrelevant. So I don't need to do any more work with the oregano. I'm just gonna focus on the peppercorns. How many bags of peppercorns can be made if they're in one ounce bags? So I need to take this 118 and I really need to find out how many ounces that is. Okay, which looks a lot like lesson 14. Uh, 13 and 14 converting and changing units. But you have to think about if I'm going from a small to a large or a large to a small. And this pound is uh, bigger than ounces. 16 ounces make a pound. So we're going from a large to a small. So use the formula. 118 times one pound. Remember this right here is where the conversion takes place equals 118 times, what's the equivalent of a pound? Well, it's 16 ounces. Now I have another little problem here and so I'm gonna take my 118 and multiply by 16 and move it up a little so you can see it better. And six times eight is 48. Six times one is six plus four is 10. Six times one is six plus one is seven. And next line, ghost zero, hold that place. One times eight is eight, one times one is one and one. And then add, add, add. And so I have 1,888 what? Ounces. And sometimes you can put in a comma if you like that for four digits. I usually wait for five. But, uh, and so when you look at this, this is the ounces, but each one uh, conveniently is in a one ounce bag. So how many bags can be made? The same amount, 1,888 bags can be made. Okay, very convenient that they did that could have been a little bit more complicated, but I hope that helped with these tape diagrams. So the next page is all that we have. We have three and then four A and B. So it's kind of, it was nice that they had it a little bit shorter. Each costume needs 46 centimeters of red ribbon and three times as much yellow ribbon. What is the total length of ribbon needed for 64 costumes? Express your answer in meters. Oh, look at that centimeters and uh, blah blah three times as much okay so let's let's do again a tape diagram it can really help you if I have red ribbon and that's 46 centimeters and it's red okay and three times as much yellow if this is one two 
three times as much. That one might be a little short, but just pretend it's all perfect. Yellow. So what is the total length of ribbon needed for 64 costumes? Well, I don't know about 64, but let's just figure out one for right now. So if you have your 46 that's known, and I don't know this one, just do 46 times three. So you can figure out the yellow. 18, three times four is 12 plus one is. So now we have 138 that you can label and again, this is centimeters because it's three times 46 centimeters. So back to the problem, 46, three times as much yellow. What is the total length of ribbon? I still haven't put those together. So now that I know yellow is 138 and I have red is 46, I can put those together to find the total length of ribbon for one costume. And this is just addition, don't get stuck multiplying. Eight plus six is 14, and then eight, and then 184 centimeters per costume. Labeling all the way so you know what you're finding out as you go. Now if this is one costume, how much ribbon is needed for 64? So you take your 184, multiply it 64 times, and let's just proceed. Four times four, 16. 32 plus one is 33. Four, five, six, seven. Placeholder. Six times four is 24, carry the two. 48 plus two is 50. Six times one is six plus five is 11. And then add six, seven, seven, one, one. So what does this represent, this 11,776? That is the total amount of centimeters for the 64 costumes. Okay, centimeters per one. So for all the costumes. So for all. But that's centimeters. And now we have to go back to the problem, express your answer in meters. Go back and reread express your answer in meters. If I have centimeters, okay, King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk, and I have to go to the meters unexpectedly, that's two place value positions away. And it's to a larger unit, so you need fewer. So you're going to take your 11,776, <coughs> divide by 100, and shift to 117 and 76 meters of ribbon is needed. And I could go on and on with my sentence, but just call that done. 117 and 76 hundredths meters of ribbon is needed for all 64 costumes. Okay, almost done. It's going pretty fast today, not too shabby. Okay, when making a batch of orange juice for her basketball team, oh, this one, I remember this with my students every year. It's always so hard, and I'll say, oh, go work on it in your groups. Well, no groups this year. So uh, when making a batch of orange juice for a basketball team, Jackie used five times as much water as concentrate. If you've ever bought the little cans of juice, that's how you do it. You have a concentrated product, and then you put water in it. And, and there's... You know, it's a ratio, which you guys will talk about a lot in sixth grade. There were 32 more cups of water than concentrate, okay? So what does it look like? So if I have my juice and my water, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tape diagram to show this relationship. She used five times as much water as concentrate. If this is the water, I need five times as much. Two, three, four, five. Five times as much water as concentrate. Okay, I don't even know any amounts for these. All I know is that water has five times, okay? The next thing that they tell me is that there were 32 more cups of water than concentrate. So right here, this is the 32 cups, okay? It's not including this one because it's saying more. 
32 more cups of water than concentrate. So if this is 32 cups, all of a sudden you might see something like 32 could be divided by 4 to see how many cups are in each section. And you would see that if there are 8 cups in each unit, then there are eight in every one of these. Now I have all the information I need to figure out all the juice. Okay, so if you wanted to know how much water there is or how much concentrate there is or how much total juice she made in all, which is where we're going with this, um, then all we have to do is put all these uh, eight cups together. Um, so anyway, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six would be all of the eights of juice. Okay, so you could find out just the water or the concentrate or put it all together. 48 cups of juice. See how easy those tape diagrams make everything? So hope you guys are enjoying the use of tape diagrams. They really are helpful. Anyway, let's take all the 48 cups and take that juice and pour it into quart containers. Now, different amount, quarts and cups. How many containers could she fill? So I need to figure out this 48 cups equals how many quarts, okay? So uh, take your 48, copy it, times one cup, and then this is where the transition is happening. So cups are smaller than quarts. How many cups are in a quart? Well, there are four quarts in a cup. So if I want the equivalent, the equivalent is that one cup is equal to one fourth of a quart. So then take your 48 and I remember mentioning this, put it over one because it's a whole number, multiply by one fourth. When you do this, you get 48 over four. And remember that this is a division sign. So 48 divided by four is 12, and that's gonna be 12 containers. Okay? So I hope this has been helpful, and that's it for today. And I'll see you real soon. Oh, and if you're a subscriber, uh, I hope you're enjoying the videos. Thanks for subscribing.